Commercial development projects are a threat to migratory birds. Migrating geese, for example, may be mistaking a wet parking lot for a body of water and suffer severe injuries. So uh, clearly, we have basically two independent clauses that are jammed together right now. This is a run-on sentence as it stands. We have one thought, commercial development projects are a threat to migratory birds. That's one sentence. Migrating geese, for example, may be mistaking a wet parking lot for a body of water. That's another complete thought. Both are independent clauses, and you can't just join them together with a comma. They either need to have a coordinating conjunction, like for or and or whatever. So we would need to have birds... Um, so we can get rid of ones that don't have a coordinating conjunction or a semicolon between them, or, it's, or a subordinating conjunction, I guess. So A doesn't fix it. B has four, which is fine. C has such as, which is wrong. And then D and E have semicolons. Okay, so also may be mistaking. There's no reason to use the present progressive tense. Uh, we just want to say that they may mistake a wet parking lot for a body of water. So B has birds, for example, migrating geese to mistake. We don't want to have to to stake. We need a finite verb, not the infinitive. We get rid of B. Um, D, we have birds, uh, semicolon. Migrating geese, for example, may mistake. Okay, that's possible. Migrating geese in one instance may experience the mistaking of a wet parking lot. Okay, um, grammatically um, may experience the mistaking of something is correct, um, but in one instance is a wordier version of, for example, it's also um, a rarer form, and then may experience the mistaking of is so wordy and awkward, we can get rid of E on that basis and select D.